Jesus tells us when we pray, we are to say, hallowed be thy name. To keep God's name hallowed means to keep it holy, consecrated, and revered. The third commandment of the Ten Commandments is, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. First Chronicles 16, 28 through 29 says, I ascribe to the Lord the glory to his name. God's name is magnified, and it is magnified forever. We find in Hebrews 1, 4, the name of Jesus is more excellent than the name of Amos. And in Philippians explains, God has exalted the name of Jesus above every name. His name will cause every need to bow and tongue to confess that he is Lord. We receive salvation, forgiveness, baptism in the Holy Ghost through his name. There is power in his name, hallelujah and amen. However, did you know that God places his word above his name? Yes, it tells us in Psalms 138 too, praise thy name for thy love kindness and for thy truth, for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. The phrase translated thou hast magnified is from the Hebrew word gadol, meaning to call cause to become greater, to advance, to extol, and to extol means to praise highly, increase in significance. God has magnified his word above his name. He did so because without knowing his word, we cannot know how to access the power of his name. We must know God's word. It is the key, the significance to unlock the power of his name. God's word is lighter to our path than lamp unto our feet, our life to those who find them, healing and health to all their flesh. The word that we hide in our hearts keeps us from sin. The word cleanses us. The word builds us up and gives us an inherit. The word effectively works in us. It is by his word that the heavens and the earth were formed. It is the word that brings forth fruit in our lives. The word saves our souls. You should know that is the importance of God's word. Learn more about why God puts his word above his name in our upcoming study.